Hey there everyone, it's Deshaun here at Mastery's Brewing Co. in St. Pete Beach, Florida. I'm drinking a Paiis Tropical, which is our new hazy IPA that we have on draft currently. But I'm not here today to talk to you about hazies. I'm actually here to talk to you about something a lot more interesting, a lot more exotic. Uh, we have a new lager that we've produced and collaboration with our USF uh, Brewing Arts Program intern, who we're gonna call Sebastian. It's a very interesting beer. It took a lot of brain power for us to get it to work solely because it's not something that's done normally. And uh, using grains the way that we did to produce this beer, it was quite interesting. Well, with that, cheers. Oh, goodness, that's delicious. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Sebastian. Um, we recently had an opportunity to uh, brew a forbidden black rice beer here at Mastery's. Uh, Deshaun, the uh, head brewer here with tons of experience, I believe this is the first shot at brewing with raw rice beer. And we ran into a number of challenges, but with his experience um, and a little bit of my tenacity, we were able to pull through and brew arguably one of the, the better beers that we've made. Um, yeah, very light profile, uh, a little bit of smokiness to it. Uh, almost has some Schwarz beer characteristics. Uh, it's very soft on the palate and is also incredibly crushable. I mean, this beer you can easily bring out to the beach and have a number of them uh, without issue. Uh, it's a lower APV beer as well. Also has a little bit of a psychological play to it, where it sort of looks like an imperial stout, but when you drink it, it couldn't be more opposite. Very light on the palate, very clean, very crisp, and again, one of the beers that I'm very happy to have brewed and uh, also been involved with at Mastery's and with Deshaun's uh, excellent experience and help. So, what made you want to join the USF Brewing Arts Program? Uh, the program gave an opportunity to learn the full gamut of beer from the history through, you know, forecasting and the future of where beer is going, including, you know, anything from the the best type of uh, malts to use, the the different water uh, chemistries that exist, the different flavor profiles that exist, the chemical compositions, flavors, aromas, um, how to open. A, a new brewery or business and seeing that in the, the syllabus uh, was an opportunity that I, I felt I couldn't uh, miss um, and also the networking you get to meet you know, great brewers like Deshaun that have you know, worked all over the United States uh, locally in St. Pete being able to meet all of the, the local brewers as I think there's over 70 or 80 now in the area um, so it was just a great opportunity that I felt I couldn't miss I, I think that the Forbidden Lager being pitch black with some purple highlights from or purple hues that are associated from the rice itself. Um, it's a beautiful beer and yes, it's a little strange to have that sort of beer on the beach, but it is a fantastic beer. It's, it's highly drinkable. It's a, definitely a session beer and with the lower ABV, it's something you can enjoy again and again on the beach without having you know, the issue of potentially over drinking. So. So why do they call it forbidden rice? Uh, forbidden rice was customarily reserved in ancient China for royalty or the elite. And in uh, in ancient China, the commoners could actually be executed if they ate the rice or were found in possession of it. So um, I found that intriguing and thought it would be fun to brew with and be able to enjoy something that uh, in past some people had not had the opportunity to. So the beer is, it's uh, again, great flavor profile. I've probably had more of this beer out of, straight out of the fermenter than any other beer. Maybe a couple gallons thus far. I'm really excited to package it and actually have it um, carbonated. But it's, I mean, I, I probably have a hard, will have a hard time not drinking it after it's completed, but it's, a, it's just a fantastic beer. And I, I would recommend to anybody at least to give it a shot, try it. Incredibly light, incredibly crisp. 
and one of my favorite beers I've made to date, so. Ugh. So, as you can see that uh, Sebastian had a lot of thought into putting and creating his forbidden rice lager. Uh, we have decided to protect Sebastian's identity solely because it's forbidden rice and he's a peasant and uh, he shouldn't have his hands on the forbidden rice. With that said, hope you guys come out here to Masteries and have a pint with us and get to try this forbidden rice lager, which should be on draft fairly soon. Cheers.